<laughs> What's good? It's your girl, Destiny Lynn. This is the very first behind the scenes interview 21 questions with your girl, Destiny Lynn. FGM, Fantasy Girl Music, Rough Copy Films. We finna get it in. Let's get it. Real questions, real me, real talk. <laughs> Born in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right here, North Side. Look at that. <laughs> I was nine years old when I first started doing music. I was only singing at the time, so I've been doing Scare music since I was nine years old. inspired me to do music I would say my big brother and my father I was always I always had access to be able to like record like with my dad because he always had a studio like in the house some type of way so I would say my father and my big brother inspired me the most it just gave me the most motivation you know to just want to keep going just writing it was just that easy you know they just never let me just not do nothing with my talent once they realized that you know I could actually sing so I just went forward with it they, they just really helped me you know What type of artist do I call myself? <laughs> Rapper, singer, songwriter, you know, I do it all. I'm just consistent to what it is that I do. I've been doing music for a very long time. I'm very dedicated to what it is that I do. I love making music. I just want to, I just love making music and writing music. And it's just very fun. It's my passion. <laughs> when I first started to perform I would say about 14 I did my very first performance which was with my brother I remember at a a small local talent show I did my very first my very first show I was nervous I was excited but ever since that first performance I just did not stop performing after that like, it was just amazing I love the crowd, the energy, but you know, 14, I was, I had my first show, and ever since then, it just kept going and kept going and kept going. Now, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> the first tattoo I had was, it's actually kind of small. It was on my stomach. It was one letter. It's letter B, and it stood for. It's not important right now. But it was just a letter B, and it was really small. Now I got about, I don't even know, I lost count of like 30 maybe, maybe, I don't know. That's a tricky question, because I got so many, like, and there's more to come. Scarecrow All right, see, actually, both of my arms, it really have a big meaning to it, right? See, this arm right here is for my daughter. I have one daughter. Her name is Nina Rose, so I thought that this arm maybe could just symbolize everything like for my daughter. Like, I got the roses, the perfume bottle, the girly stuff, you know, the roses because her name is Nina Rose. Then I got this arm, which is the music. You know, I got the fantasy girl, the music notes, the crown. So, basically, the two most important things to me in my life, which is my music and my daughter. And that's what all my tattoos symbolize right there. My right arm is my music arm, and my left arm is my daughter's arm. You know, the two most important things to me in my life. I can't really balance them out without the other, you know? So, yeah, music behind all the tattoos. FGM. <laughs> okay. FGM, that's all me right there. It stands for Fantasy Girl Music. It basically just sums up everything instead of saying this song this song destiny land we just all compact it into one it's like the clothing line the album it just symbolizes everything that i have going on right now i soon to i eventually in the future i <laughs> i want to make fgm so big it's like for the girls for the ladies i just want to make it so big you know and it's just like my bread. It just symbolizes everything, like how I am. Fantasy girl. I'm really girly. I like girly things, nails, hair, heels, and stuff like that. So fantasy girl music is just symbolizes everything all in one. FGM. <laughs> What 
what inspired me to write my album was a few different things, you know, going through some things, you know, and just, I don't know. <laughs> That's not a question on there, is it? It's not. I don't know what inspired me to write it. Nothing really inspired me to write it. It's just like, I do music, so I just, you know, I'm just constantly, consistently recording songs. So when I pick like my favorite songs and I just compact it into the FGM, what symbolized me the most, you know, songs that I feel had a lot of meaning. It's so different, like in the variety is different. So it's more than one thing. I can't really just say this one thing inspired me because there's so many things that inspired me on the album and it just brought it together and it's just FGM. It just means so much and there's so many things. Like so I to just say one thing inspired me. I would describe my album as different. I did a lot of singing and also did a lot of rapping, you know. I'm a big fan of Lauren Hill, you know, she's the hottest, she's the greatest, you know. So it kind of like motivated me a little bit, you know. When I first started doing music, I lo even though to this day, I love, 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 love Lauren Hill. She is the hottest, the hottest, the dopest, the coldest, the beautifulest, the most talented woman that ever lived. She's amazing. She sings, she raps. And it's just like a big motivation for me. Just like it's amazing to know that, like, you know, the music before me and before my time, it was just great. It just really inspired me to just sing and rap, you know? And currently, 2015, oh, your boy Drake, Drizzy Drake. He the best, he the hottest right now. I love Drake, I love Drake. He's the best thing going right now. I love his flow, I love everything. He's been holding it down for years, you know? I've worked with a lot of artists so far. Um, I would sit here and name a lot of them, but so many, I don't think of them. I worked with artists such like Ruler Rip, you know, he's doing his thing, he's in Atlanta, Georgia right now, you know. I worked with artists like who, Young Legend, GTE, Christina Vaughn. I worked with a lot of artists, Bill Martell, the whole Pure Gang ENT. Oh, it's just, the list just goes on and on. like to work with Drake. I just love the work as the work ethic, like the things that he's able to do, like sing, rap, just like myself. I think that'll be real dope, real hot, you know. So Drake, yeah. I just that's the only person I would probably want to work with. I mean, I would love to work with a lot of artists, but if I had to choose one artist, it would definitely be Drake. If I had only that one choice. If I had 10. That's a tricky question right there. <laughs> no, it's kind of hard like to say because singing is like the more softer side, you know. It's like I get a chance to be sweet and just like, and just to be open. Like with rapping, I get a chance to be like more attitude, you know what I'm saying? Like all uh, kind of cocky, conceited. So it's like the best of both worlds. So I would not want to be able to rap without knowing how to sing. I don't know. Like, and especially with me singing first, I'll never be able to not sing on anything. That's why I always try to like sing the hooks, rap the verses, or vice versa, or something like that. But it's really hard to choose. I don't think that I could choose. Because it's like, it just brings out two different sides of my, of my, you know what I'm saying, of my talent. Like I could sing and rap. So you get to see two type of destiny lens, you know, not two different types, but two different styles, you know, R&B, hip hop. I could do it both. So one without the other is just like, it's not gonna work. My favorite producers is my producers, my current producers, which is AJA Beats, stay the best, stay the hottest, you know?
AJ AB's T Streets and K Mel. You know, they make all my beats, you know, we go, we get it in, where they produce the hottest shit for your girl, and I'm gonna continue to work with them because they is the best. Oh, it's just some everything, like more videos, more shows, like more behind the scenes, more everything, like whatever that I got to offer my fans, I'm definitely going to give it to you. I'm just striving for the best. I'm just grinding. I'm just grinding. You know, you never know. You might get another EP. I might do another LP. I mean, like, it's really whatever. I got so much in store. I got so much in store. Like, just be waiting because everything is coming soon. My favorite song on the album would be Smoke Drink. What inspired me to write Smoke Drink was, it was my 21st birthday and it just made me want to turn up the night, you know? That's why I turn up like I was turning 21. It's my really, really, really 21st birthday. That day that I actually shot the video. It's my 21st birthday and I had wrote this song about two days before we actually shot the video. So it was real fun for me, you know? Everything was, we just, I just brought the song to life in the video. If you haven't saw the video, Destiny Lynn, YouTube right now, Smoke Drink. Turn up, turn up the night. That's my favorite song off the album, you know? So... Get it. Let's, let's, let's get it, FGM. I have my own clothing line out right now. It's called FGM Fantasy Girl Music, you know. Brought to you by me, Destiny Lynn. You can find FGM clothing on bhcorporated.com. That's again, www.bhcorporate.com. You know, all sizes, all colors. We have sports bras, hats, beaters, shirts, leggings, skinny jeans, all type of stuff. So it's a line only for the ladies. I'm sorry, fellas. You can get you a hat or something, but it's really mostly for the ladies. You know, I'm always looking out for the ladies because I love, love, love the ladies. Like I'm LL Cool J or something. So, <laughs> so ladies, make sure you go get you some FGM Fantasy Girl Wear 2015.